The Woodbine track record, Jenna's Beach Boy, 152 and 4. The world's record, Arts Place, 151 and 1. $670,000 purse. The two year old Colt Pace of the Cadillac Breeders' Crown, the final race of 1994 in this competition. Here's Frank Salim. Don't get in my way is firing on out of there. So is Jenna's Beach Boy and only Penn firing fastest of all in between them against Rover Hanover over the first turn with standalone spotted just behind the speed. Rover Hanover is on a break. Now coming on to inherit fourth is Don't Get In My Way, VP Finance is five up on the outside. Big Albert gets away in sixth, around the trouble from seventh on the outside, no standing around. Then it's back to powerful structure, village connection. Rover Hanover is out of it, back down pacing off a quarter, only pan up front. 26 and three, wicked first quarter speed for only Penn, who takes the field into the backside. Jenna's Beach Boy is there in second. Four more lengths to stand alone, studying those two from a tight third. BP Finance is fourth. Don't get in my way as Feff already on the move. On the outside from six is no standing around. Big Albert is seventh. Powerful structure is eighth. Then Village Connection and Rover Hanover. The half was 55 and one, going very strong in a 28 and three second quarter and Bill Fay has taken Jenna's Beach Boy to the lead. Jenna's Beach Boy in front on the way to the last turn. Only Penn is there in second. Stand alone is up on the outside third and the clash of the two-year-old Titans will soon be on. On the outside fourth is VP Finance. Don't get in my way. Is along the inside in fifth. No standing around is six. Seventh on the outside. Powerful structure. Then Village Connection. Three quarters. One, twenty-three and one. Into the top of the stretch drive the two-year-old pace and colts and geldings in the cadillac freighter's crown and it's all jenna's beach boy jenna's beach boy stand alone is second in futile pursuit this one is all over jenna's beach boy romping look at the clock 151 and four track and canadian record stand alone second don't get in my way was third so it's Jenna's Beach Boy that wins the two-year-old Colt Pace. This two-year-old Bay Colt by Beach Towel out of the Camp Bellamare, five o'clock Cindy. Trained by Joe Holloway and driven to victory by Bill Fay. What a big effort by Jenna's Beach Boy. And I'll tell you something, this horse, the mare, 5 o'clock, Cindy, is a mean-spirited mare. I think it helps this colt uh, be as good as he is. He got right out there, didn't wait, and they went some very, very fast fractions as they moved down the stretch. Jenna's Beach Boy was leading it by about two lanes and standalone. He had every opportunity to overtake the pace setter, could not do it. No question that Jenna's Beach Boy was much the best tonight because standalone laid off that quick early pace and still could not close in, didn't have enough in the tank. Jenna's Beach Boy, a tremendous effort tonight for driver Bill Fay. Stand alone, your proverbial second best here. Owned by L&L DeVisser Partnership, that's Lee and Linda DeVisser, who sent out 5-2 to two favorite Florida Jewel in 1991 in the age trot and finished ninth. Nice redemption for that ownership group tonight. And Bill Fay just sitting at the controls, didn't even really have to urge him on too much. And if you look at uh, Jenna's Beach Boy right now, he's not blowing all that hard. Jenna's Beach Boy, track record in the elimination, and now a track record in the championship. Jenna's Beach Boy, driven to victory by Bill Fay. And there's a look at Jenna's Beach Boy, who just won the two-year-old Colt Pace in the Cadillac Breeders' Crown. And Jenna's Beach Boy, I'll tell you, just tremendous. You know, we're talking about Art's Place and that big mile that he went as a two-year-old to set the world record. It was a windy night, a blustery night, but it wasn't anywhere as near as cold as it is tonight, and it's still very windy. I actually personally believe that this mile, bigger than Arts Place's mile, and it could be the coming out party for Jenna's Beach Boy winning the Breeders' Crown. He looks like he's going to be the top Colt in 1995. And what about trainer Joe Holloway, one of the rising stars in the sport? So often he was connected with David Rovine at the Meadowlands. They had a powerful stable over there. He went out on his own. He had some tough times, but he has really come on as a trainer. He has come on as a trainer, and now he's come on with a huge star of 1994 Jenna's Beach Boy I'll tell you a, a, a very high spirited animal and again that has a lot to do with, with his mother and uh, a brilliant performance tonight in this weather well Joe Holloway won the North America Cup before but never a breeders crown and let's go down to Brad Diamond with Joe Holloway that's right and here he is and just how is Joe Holloway feeling right now his first breeders crown victory real good right now uh, we were hoping for the Colt to be like this uh, we thought he's the best coming into it and it's up to him to prove it now so 
You saw the race. It looked like Bill wanted to go to the leader right off the bat. We were going to lose a fight, and if we were going to lose it, uh, like I said, we came into it thinking we were the best, and we weren't looking to uh, try to do anything fancy. What's so. this mean to you personally right now? A lot, because uh, he's a homebred colt for the Divisors. Uh, a lot of pressure. I mean, they named it after their uh, granddaughter. She's like eight years old. It's not bad telling Lee, you know, that he lost, but an eight-year-old doesn't understand. So, got to kind of win. The time of the race, 150. It was a Canadian record, 151 and four. Did that surprise you at all, or you uh, knew your horse was capable of this? I knew he was capable of a lot. Uh, horse I had for Bob Suslow set the world record of 51 and four in a mile. And I think this is a better horse. Uh, but a night like this, cool and stuff, uh, yeah, it did surprise me a little bit, but I knew he's up for a good mile. Congratulations, Thank Joe. You very much. What's what's planned for tonight? For tonight? Oh, we'll have a little celebration anyway, so. But we're going upstairs, and then we got to fly home. Okay. Congratulations once again. Okay. Joe Holloway, a very happy man, and for good reason. And back up to you, Bruce. I'll tell you, Jenna's Beach Boy flew home as well tonight. Uh, real good to see Joe Holloway celebrating because uh, there are a lot of great people around this sport and when you see one get a win and it means as much as it did to him it's special. And he has every reason to celebrate Bruce and probably will with a couple of hot toddies tonight because he mentioned uh, how cool it is as well and he's very surprised at the time of that mile he knew his horse had the ability he actually figured that his horse was the best in the field and he proved that tonight he just didn't think he'd go as fast as he did. The prices are official. Jenna's Beach Boy returning 530, 310, and 290. Standalone was second, 260 and 250. Don't get in my way. $3.40 to show. 151 and 4. And Gary talked about the meaning of that mile tonight. The exact $9.50. 8 and 2. The rest of the field, number four was Village Connection. Big Elbert finished sixth. Only Pam was seventh. Rover Hanover finished tenth. And in the winner's circle right now, Dick Conlon, General Director, Field Operations for General Motors of Canada. Also, Andy Grant, President of the Hamiltonian Society. Harold Chip, Trustee of the Ontario Jockey Club. And Patrick Keenan, President and CEO of the Ontario Jockey Club, making the presentation to the Divisor Partnership, Lee and Linda. And congratulations to the duo. Once again, the winner, Jenna's Beach Boy from Post 8 in 151 and 4.